Good evening. Welcome to the May 4th edition of the Downers Grove Village Council meeting. Here in council chambers, while we do have public seating, we ask that all remain mindful of total person limits and IDPH best practices. If you're in attendance, please continue to wear your mask and watch your distance. As always, we will begin this evening with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rosa, would you please call the roll? Mayor Barnett? Here. Commissioner Jose? Here. Commissioner Earl? Here. Commissioner Wallace? Here. Commissioner Sadowski Fugit? Here. Commissioner Colavani? Here. Commissioner Gray? Here. As we've been doing for some time now, we've placed the general non agenda specific public comments portion of the meeting towards the end of the meeting this evening. That allows for comments to come in online and still be part of the record. Is there a motion concerning minutes of previous council meetings? Mayor, I move that the council adopt the minutes of the April 20th, 2021 meeting as presented. Second. Any questions or comments from the council? Rosa, please call the roll. Commissioner Jose? Aye. Commissioner Earl? Aye. Commissioner Gray? Aye. Commissioner Colavani? Aye. Commissioner Sadowski Fugit? Aye. Commissioner Wallace? Aye. Mayor Barnett? Aye. That motion passes unanimously. Is there a motion concerning the consent agenda? Mayor, I move that the council adopt the consent agenda as presented. Second. Any questions or comments from the council? Rosa, please call the roll. Commissioner Jose? Aye. Commissioner Earl? Aye. Commissioner Gray? Aye. Commissioner Colavani? Aye. Commissioner Sadowski Fugit? Aye. Commissioner Wallace? Aye. Mayor Barnett? Aye. That too passes unanimously. We do not have a first reading portion of the meeting tonight, so that'll take us to item five on our agenda, active agenda items. This is the portion of the meeting where we have subjects we plan to take action on this evening. Typically, they are subjects we have discussed or talked about at previous meetings. Is there a motion? Mayor, I move that the council adopt an ordinance amending ordinance 3996 to modify the compensation of the mayor and the village council as presented. Second. Are there any questions or comments from the audience on this issue? Any questions or comments from the council? Rosa, please call the roll. Commissioner Jose? Aye. Commissioner Earl? Aye. Commissioner Gray? Aye. Commissioner Colavani? Aye. Commissioner Sadowski Fugit? Aye. Commissioner Wallace? Aye. Mayor Barnett? Aye. That motion passes unanimously as well. With that little business out of the way, we are now on to the portion of the meeting that we're all here for and kind of excited about this evening. Is there a motion concerning adjournment? Mayor, I move to adjourn Sine DA. Second. Rosa, please call the roll. Commissioner Jose? Aye. Commissioner Earl? Aye. Commissioner Gray? Aye. Commissioner Colavani? Aye. Commissioner Sadowski Fugit? Aye. Commissioner Wallace? Aye. Mayor Barnett? Aye. We are adjourned briefly enough to pause and do a little swearing in ceremony. Uh, so we're excited about that. First of all, welcome to everybody that's here this evening. I know um, this is a big time for both those that are departing as well as those that are starting, and, uh, and I appreciate all the family involvement. It's, it, it really is uh, a necessary part of the job, and, and it's great to see everybody here. It's awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, if I could find my glasses, I could actually get started. We're going to start this evening with Commissioner Jose, the Honorable Judge Anseline Walsh, DuPage County Circuit Court Judge, and one of Downers Grove's own will do the swearing in. Go ahead and head down. Go ahead and raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Gregory Jose. 
Having been appointed to the Office of Commissioner in the Village of Downers Grove. Having been elected to the Office of Commissioner in the Village of Downers Grove. In the County of DuPage. In the County of DuPage. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the Office of Commissioner. The duties of the Office of Commissioner. According to the, the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Chris and Danny, as we get to you guys, when it's completed, go on and take your seat up here. Uh, next, Chris Gilmartin, please come on up. Chris is going to be sworn in tonight by Judge David W. McKee, U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, Sixth Circuit, and a relative, right? Son of a. Raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Chris Gilmartin. Having been elected to the Office of Commissioner. Having been elected to the Office of Commissioner. In the Village of Downers Grove and the County of DuPage. In the Village of Downers Grove and the County of DuPage. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. That I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Of Commissioner according to the best of my ability. Of Commissioner according to the best of my ability. Judge Walsh will once again officiate. Sabrina, if you want to stand over here. Sure. Okay. Go ahead and raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Danny Glover. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Having been appointed to the office of commissioner in the village of Downers Grove. Having been elected to the office of commissioner in the village of Downers Grove. In the county of DuPage. In the county of DuPage. Well, do solemnly swear again. Do solemnly swear. <laughs> <laughs> that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the Office of Commissioner. The duties of the Office of Commissioner. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations, Dan. Rosa, would you please call the roll? Mayor Barnett? Here. Commissioner Jose? Here. Commissioner Wallace? Here. Commissioner Sadowski Fugit? Here. Commissioner Colavaney? Here. Commissioner Gilmartin? Here. Commissioner Glover? Here. Awesome, we're all together. Item 9 on our agenda tonight is the public comments portion of the meeting I alluded to earlier. This is the portion of the meeting where we take public comment on subjects not on tonight's agenda. Public comments of any nature are welcome now. If you would like to, come on down to the podium. Let us know what's on your mind. Seeing none. Mr. Baker, you have anything come in online? Yes, Mayor, we did have uh, several remarks, comments, all submitted by uh, the same resident, David Rose. Uh, most of them were circulated and published in advance of the meeting, and they related to a series of demographic questions regarding the village. 
We did uh, also receive a set of questions from Mr. Rose after the publishing of the first questions that were related to policing. Those will be published and all will be incorporated as part of the public record. Thank you. Okay, item 10 on tonight's agenda is the mayor's report. Um, I want to take a minute this evening to once again thank Commissioners Marjorie and Kevin Gray for their service to our community. We are better for it. Thank you. Thank you. We wish you both well as you turn the page. Tonight's focus is on the beginning of a new chapter for the Downers Grove Village Council. Every two years, our community has an opportunity to adjust the sales a bit, to weigh in on future direction and select those they'd like to lead. So this evening, I'd like to offer both congratulations and welcomes to Commissioners Greg Jose, Chris Gilmartin, and Danny Glover. Running a campaign is not easy. Putting yourself out there for the whole community to judge is daunting. Congratulations are indeed in order. But perhaps most importantly, welcome. You've no doubt heard about how different the view is from the dais. Commissioner Wallace recently referred to it as a club. And while it's open to all, it's no less true that serving from this dais offers a unique vantage point of what makes our community and how our community runs. You're being trusted by thousands to make decisions that affect their lives on a day in and day out basis. That's a burden council members past and present have all shared. And with that shared load is in fact a unique kinship. Our community needs this council to succeed and I want you to know that those you're joining this evening will do all we can to ensure your success. Thank you for being willing to serve our community. Congratulations on your success in the election and welcome to the Downers Grove Village Council. Item 11, Commissioner Reports. We're going to start off with our newest commissioner, Commissioner Glover. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to say what an honor it is to have the opportunity to serve the Village of Downers Grove in this role. I'm so appreciative that the residents decided that I was the man for the job. It's a job that I've thought about for some time and have always just thought that I was too busy to undertake. But with the approval of my wife, Sabrina, I had decided that now is the right time. Coming out on the other side of this pandemic, I know there are some very important decisions to be made, and I'm grateful to work with this amazing group uh, to be a part of them. I really think this group can accomplish great things for Donners Grove. As I've gotten to know this council via YouTube and short meetings, everyone here brings a unique and important perspective, and I hope to learn and work in collaboration with each and every one of you. It's very clear that everyone here sh shares my same passion for this community. The same can be said for the outgoing council members too. I want to thank Commissioner Earl and Commissioner Gray for everything they have done and will continue to do for this community. You've each brought an element to this council that I know will be greatly missed. And I hope that Chris and I can fill that role um, as best as we can. I know there have been times where I've changed my mind or at least seeing things from a different perspective thanks to the experience, research, and explanations you've given us on, on certain topics. I promise to come to every decision with that same open mind, ready to listen and ready to learn. I will work hard to serve every resident, business, and stakeholder in this community to the best of my ability, and I'm super excited to get to work for you. So thank you. Thank you. Mr. Gilmartin. Thank you, Mayor Barnett. I want to first thank you, uh, my fellow commissioners and the village staff for already making me feel so welcome as a newly elected commissioner. I'm very much looking forward to working with all of you. And I know and hope and believe that this will be a productive and positive time in the village. While there's still some uncertainty ahead, I am confident that this council will set the right vision, identify the right priorities, and make the right decisions to help the village emerge stronger, be more vibrant, and more inclusive. I am excited about being a part of that. I want to congratulate Commissioner Jose on his reelection, Commissioner Glover on his successful campaign, and say thank you to all those who ran for village council. Your, your dedication and commitment to the village is much appreciated. I also want to thank Commissioner Earl and Commissioner Gray for your service to the village. Your dedication and commitment has helped set a standard that I hope and will work hard to meet. The decision to move to Downers Grove uh, that my wife and I made 16 years ago 
was mostly based on proximity to the train, but it turned out to be one of the best decisions we ever made. I've had a lot of firsts here in Downers Grove. We bought our first house here. Uh, we became first time parents here. I started my first business here. But most importantly, we've met so many great people, some of which we actually consider family. And in many ways, Downers Grove has been the platform for most of my successes in my adult life. And my decision to run and my privilege to serve on the council is really based in a desire to give back to this community that has given me so much. And now to add to that list of firsts, I can add getting elected for the first time, although it's important to note that this is not technically my first candidacy. However, that election where I participated as a candidate for student body president in 1989 ended much differently <laughs> in what could easily be described as a crushing defeat. But for my children who are here tonight, this is the lesson. If at first you don't succeed, wait 32 years <laughs> and try again. <laughs> Quickly, I want to thank a few people by name. First and foremost, my wonderful wife, Laura. Thank you for your continued support in all of my endeavors. Simply, simply put, I couldn't do this without you. My children, Ada, Elise, and Isaac, for being so supportive and your willingness to share a bit of my time with the village. I also want to thank the rest of my family who came from Michigan, Florida, Virginia, and even St. Charles, including my mom and dad, Betty and Jim Gilmartin, my sister, Diane Ganley, my brother, Mike uh, Gilmartin, um, my now, <laughs> I didn't know they were coming, but my uh, nephew, TJ, his wife, Lisa, my niece, Devin, uh, my in-laws, David and Nancy and Donna Gardner, thank you so much for being here and the love and support you've given me. I also want to thank my good friend and colleague, David Sutton, for your help with the campaign in a million ways. I want to thank my friends and residents of Downers Grove who supported me. I've learned so much and truly appreciate you. Lastly, to all the residents of Downers Grove, I commit to serving you with humility, honesty, and integrity. I look forward to earning your trust as commissioner. I will strive to make data-driven decisions with empathy and be a conduit and catalyst for all those who seek to make Downers Grove a better place to live. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Commissioner Jose. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I want to start by welcoming Commissioner Glover and Commissioner Gilmartin uh, to the council. And uh, thank you, Chris, for uh, helping me feel just a little bit better with your comments there about being the senior commissioner. <laughs> um, and uh, I want to say thank you also to Commissioner Gray and Commissioner Earl uh, for their exemplary service. The village is truly better for your service. Uh, it dawned on me as I was getting ready for tonight that uh, at eight years up here, it's uh, the longest I've ever held a job. So the, uh, <laughs> the joke may be on, uh, on everybody here. But I, I want to uh, seriously thank uh, the village and uh, all of its residents for placing their trust in me one more time. Uh, we, uh, we have a great team up here and we're poised to do great things. COVID changed the game. Uh, the, the, it, everything became reaction, it became survival in many ways. And as we're dealing now with looking at hope, with looking at the, uh, the vaccine spreading and returning to something closer to normal life, um, we kind of uh, are, are seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. But then as we started to get there, we got into election season. And as, as Danny noted, the, uh, the meetings got shorter because the agendas got lighter and it might have felt like a little bit of a break because there wasn't that much going on. But we're poised to head into long range planning. We've got facilities to tackle and many other issues to deal with. So my thinking is this, break's over. Let's get back to work. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Greg. Commissioner Colvaney. Yeah, first of all, uh, I'd like to congratulate you, Greg, on your fine uh, reelection. And uh, both Danny and Chris, welcome to this council. Congratulations on your fine campaigns and your willingness to serve in this capacity. Uh, thank you to uh, my friends Marge and Kavanaugh for your willingness to serve as well and, and put yourself um, out there. I think um, the council that uh, has just um, left 
did I think an amazing thing, which is not typical in the Chicago suburbs or in politics generally. We figured a way to get along with each other, treat each other respectfully without creating automatic uh, enemies where we could focus on each issue, uh, come to our decisions, and even if we disagreed with each other, we also uh, figured out a way to come back together and not uh, harbor ill feelings. And I think that's really important because that allows us to focus on each um, position and each thing and decision that comes before us in an objective way. And I think, um, I think the residents are tired of political infighting. And the fact that we've accomplished that, I think, um, speaks a lot to the quality of the people here. And from what I know of these two fine gentlemen who are joining us, I, I think that that will continue in the same spirit. At least they're going into it with that spirit. So I think uh, people at Downers Grove, even though we have some tough decisions to make, uh, you've got good decision makers here that will work together for the good of the community. So, welcome. Thank you, Rich. Commissioner Sadowski-Fugit. Yes. Um, I want to congratulate Commissioner Jose on his re-election and Commissioners Gil Martin and Glover on their election. Um, it was a tough campaign, unlike any other probably for Village Council given COVID-19 and how that just kind of changed how, how things functioned. But um, all three really managed to stay positive on message. And I know that all three of you really had boots on the ground and were engaged in talking to residents. And so that really came through when it came election time, the, the effort and, and the time that you put in to, to getting to know the community. So congratulations on that hard work. Um, I'm really looking forward to working with this group. I have no doubt in my mind that everybody is in this for the right reason and is in this to serve the community. We have a long but wor worthwhile road ahead and I'm just genuinely excited to get started as, as Greg said, breaks over. Um, again, thank you to uh, Marge and Kavanaugh. We will miss your voices, your wisdom, um, but hopefully this is just kind of a see you later in a different way, but not goodbye. Um, unrelated to the council transition or are we doing other things ahead, as well yep. i just wanted to say thank you to everybody who came out for the um, um country in the park for the with the grow foundation i couldn't make it i was taking care of a family member who had surgery but um i heard it was a great success and i also want to wish all the moms out there a happy mother's day this weekend <clears throat> thank you Mr. wallace thank you mayor just want to give another quick thank you to Commissioner Earl and Commissioner Gray. I don't know that you ever lose the commissioner title, mm -mm. even when you're not up here. It's, it's really hard to lose that. So <laughs> thank you to you both. Um, you will be missed, but I know that we will see you around and elsewhere in other capacities. Um, one of my favorite quotes is, none of us is as smart as all of us by Ken Blanchard. And sitting up here on the dais requires teamwork, the ability to work toward a common vision on behalf of all residents and coming together here tonight is just the beginning. I'm really looking forward to continuing work with Commissioner Jose um, and also really looking forward to beginning work with Commissioner Gilmartin and Commissioner Glover. Um, a hearty welcome to you both. We have a lot of work to do. Let's go. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> with that, is there a motion to adjourn? Mayor, I move to adjourn. Second. Rosa, please call the roll. Mayor Barnett. Aye. Commissioner Jose. Aye. Commissioner Wallace. Aye. Commissioner Sadowski Fugit. Aye. Commissioner Colavaney. Aye. Commissioner Gilmartin. Aye. Commissioner Glover. Aye. With that, we are adjourned. Thank you and good night. <laughs>